Near the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, nestled into the wooded hills and valleys of southern Ohio, amidst a historical Amish community, lie 7,000 acres of one of the most technologically advanced jet engine testing grounds. The People's Test Operation Facility is celebrating its 60th year anniversary this October. GE Aviation purchased the plot of land in 1954 as a location to test rocket engines, and the vast grounds, which are the largest private land holding in Ohio, play an important part of the testing that GE engineers do. In the 1950s, Peebles held its first jet engine test on the military's J-47 and J-79. GE transformed Peebles in 1965 to help with the development testing for the TF-39 engine that would power the C-5A Galaxy military transport, and the site has continued to grow and expand ever since. During the last three years, GE has invested $70 million in new test cells and equipment. This state-of-the-art facility is home to 11 test sites, 4 enclosed, and 7 open. With only 340 employees, the people's staff keep busy operating around the clock, 7 days a week, as circumstances demand. In 2014, the site will complete final assembly of 520 engines, and conduct testing on 1,600 new engines including Passport, GENX, GE90, along with CFM's International Leap and CFM56 engine. Testing ranges from acoustic, fan blade out, performance, hailstone ingestion, hailstone and ice lab ingestion, to bird ingestion, water ingestion, dust and sand ingestion, and engineer investigations. The facility maintains its own water, telephone, and electric distribution systems, plus 10 miles of paved road and 30 miles of service road, and it uses up to 7 million gallons of jet fuel per year, which is enough fuel to drive a family car 210 million miles. The People's Facility plays a significant role in the future of flight, lifting people up, and doing whatever it takes to bring them home safely.